What's going on everybody? It's Childish, you're back out of the game, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. And in today's video, we're gonna give you guys a little bit of that educational insight here by making fun of me, talking about myself, putting myself on blast here as to, you know, what I would consider to be a huge, huge mistake um, that I wanna make sure that you guys are not doing as well. So before we get into that though, I uh, do wanna give you guys a big shout out for all the people that stopped on by uh, for the last video here, for the Summoner's War Sky Arena video, we had roughly about 10K thousand. 10 k thousand, 10,000, uh, 10,000 views on that video. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching that video. Uh, means a lot to me, means a lot to me. Now, again, if you guys didn't get a chance to check it out, you can tell by the lineup that you see right now, literally the number one unit that we've been gunning for since the Savannah pool, Oliver is here in the mix here. Of course we get it after the, you know, recent, you know, nerf or whatnot here, but we ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, like despite the nerf, it's still a pretty good unit and it's definitely gonna help me out in the last one. So for those of you guys that didn't get a chance um, to kind of tune in around that time, uh, we pulled the unit like two days before the actual um, RTA session, you know, finished or so we didn't get a chance to really, you know, get up in there and grind because again, we were kind of splitting our time between Sky Arena and Chronicles. But I will say this though, I have never been more excited to jump into the next uh, regular season. Uh, because of the fact that we got this unit here and this is one of those units where if we had it in the original setup when i you know uh, got together with zigbear and for to kind of you know optimize my account i uh i think we could have I, def I definitely think we could have pushed uh right back into that g1 rank here but anyways fam uh yeah 20 star special league not a big fan for me but uh the good thing about this is that i actually got uh, another big focus to do and this is again this is the reason why we're making this video so um, for those of you guys who have been playing this game a long time here, especially for like, players like me that are pushing six, seven, eight years strong, um, you've probably gotten to the point where, you know, PvP is just kind of the number one factor, number one thing that you enjoy, most notably RTA, right? RTA is just kind of the, the flavor of the years and whatnot. But um, the, infor the, uh, the good thing and bad thing about RTA is that you can change your runes at any given time you want, you know, optimizing what you want without any cost to it. But when it comes to regular clearing, you know, regular PvE content, Guild Wars Siege, regular dungeons and whatnot, you can't do that. You know, you're going to have to spend, you know, some of your resources here to get that done. So uh, my kind of message to you guys here is that if you're one of those people that, you know, do fairly well when it comes to RT, but maybe not so much into the uh, regular Guild Wars or Siege, I'm curious to ask you guys, are you doing everything in your in your account possible to uh, optimize and, and uh, you know, basically bring in the best kind of, uh, you know, compositions that you can bring when it comes to Guild Wars Siege? I'll tell you right now, I know I'm not because... Of the simple fact that I just been outrageously focused on RTA and optimizing there and just haven't really honed in on what I can do, right? As you guys know, there's a lot more content uh, when it comes to PVE, right? Guild War Siege, TOA Hell, you got all these things you got to do, right? But there's the underlining factor that there's just, even though there are so many more things to do, in this day and age, in 2022, there is a handful of compositions that you can create that can clear a wide variety of dungeons, right? One of the most notables is gonna be Chakar. Chakar can literally clear uh, two to three dungeons right now, I believe, even maybe even four if you make an argument for it here, depending on where your rune quality is at. But if it, if it, if if it's literally that good to where you can use it in multiple aspects of the game, why in the world are you not taking advantage of it right now? So you can uh, take away some of those additional runes and put them onto units to go ahead and you know, make it work, right? As you guys know, when we're talking about RTA, right, we optimize, we're literally optimizing for if you're like a person like me that doesn't have every single rune under the sun, I'm optimizing six to eight units, sometimes 10, and that's it. You know, anything outside of that is just icing on the cake and not doing too work. But when it comes to, like I said, Guild Wars, Siege, PvP, or sorry, you know, like regular PvE dungeons, TOA, stuff like that, there's a lot more runes that go into play. And you, you know, you have to spread your runes a little too thin here. But the thing of it is, is that I want to, I just want to remind you once again. Don't do what I did. Don't don't get into this point where you're like, oh, I got one new rune. Let me go ahead and try to just slap it on a unit here and there, whatnot, for my Guild Wars Siege. Like, see what you can do to optimize it. Because again, if you are part of a guild, if your goal is to be, you know, G1, G2, G3 guild, again, I don't need to tell the G2, G3 people, obviously, because they are focused, hyper focused on that. But if you're one of those people out there that are in a, a you know farming guild that are looking to be competitive or looking to move from G1 to G2, you're like, you know what? I do good in RT, but for whatever reason, I'm kind of struggling in PvE. The question might for, for me to ask is, are you doing, for me to ask you guys is, are you doing everything in your power to make the adjustments that you need to make in those teams in order for you to get yourself uh, the strongest compositions possible? And most people are not. I'm going to put it out right there. Most people are not because at the end of the day, 
it's uh it's it's gonna cost resources to do it and unless it's you know free removal most people don't want to spend their resources on it but i'm i'm the one to, i'm the one to tell you not what you want to hear but what you need to hear which is if you were in a guild and your goal is for your guild to progress and move up here you can't sit back relax and like you know just try to clear content with the unzi rune and just wait 29 days for the next free rune move to get it done right if you have the resource to get it done you have the ability to optimize and make improvements here that goal should be to optimize those units as fast as possible as soon as possible so that you can get value right now with your comps here and make a nice adjustment here again one person making an adjustment doesn't seem out too much but if you have multiple people in your guild that are kind of in the same path as we are where they're waiting for free rune to get it done um then that's that could be a uh, a pretty big jump. So again, I mean, like, look at this right now. My two latest units right now, Oliver and Molly, right? And if you look at these, Oliver and Molly, this is the, for a person that's been playing the game eight years, these particular runes, this is a Violent Will, this is, or sorry, Violent Broken, Violent Will, maybe. Don't even have, I don't even have artifacts on. These, these stats right here are really not that good. Um, a support like Molly, you know, at this day and age, for me, I should be in the plus 140, 150. I should have max resist. Um, there should be a lot more defense. Like there should be a lot of the play, but what, what did I do when I first got these units? I literally just went to my room box, checked it out, went to the manager, like, okay, let me take a look and see what runes are not equipped here. And let me just kind of throw them in there. And that's, that's one of those things right now. Once you get new units, you have to start thinking about, okay, what are these units are? What, what are they capable of doing? How much versatility do they got? Can they really, uh, make an impact on, you know, some of the compositions, whether it's offense or defense that I could do. And if that's the case, you can use them in more aspects than not, then yes, these should have a priority when it comes to, you know, focusing roots on it. Again, um, I, the reason why I put this out there is kind of initially put myself on blast, but kind of call the community out as well because of the fact that I know that this is something that we all do. Um, we, we wait to that free rune removal and, you know, make the adjustments and like, oh shoot, I forgot one more thing, but I'm not trying to spend any more money. Let me go ahead and just uh, wait 30 days and be done with it. So hopefully you guys, you know, take a quick, uh, Take a, take a quick page to my book and say, hey, you know what? If you gotta make if you gotta make the optimizations, if you if you, if you have the ability to make the adjustments, um, you have the responsibility to make those adjustments. Because again, it's not about you. Um, it's not about, uh, about the, the the guild made next to you, right? It's about making the changes that you need for the betterment of you, but more importantly, your guild. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing here in the next couple of days. Uh, as you guys know, or may or may not know, uh, especially for me, not a huge fan of it. If I do it, I'm literally just doing it kind of on the fly uh, for content on, on, you know, stream and whatnot here. But for me personally, um, my goal is to continuously push myself uh, in regular RTA and, you know, like I said, try to go for that, you know, G1 rank um, at the end of the day. So for me, I personally would rather play Goodwill and test out different strategies versus people out there that may be done with their wings um, versus do like special league or whatnot. So I might, I might be doing that on stream a little bit here, but right now the focus for me is to uh adjust adjust and optimize my units for guild wars for siege because i realize now uh, considering my uh my performance or whatnot when it comes to uh the guilds that i fight and the rank that i'm at which right now in my in the guild that i'm running right now epic fell we're, we're, we're hitting g2 guilds like there's no reason why i shouldn't do better and i'm like i know why i'm not doing better i need to I need to optimize my account. I need to make some adjustments here, consolidate some runes, fine tune my teams, and uh, you know, just kind of go, you know, make, make those adjustments that are need to be. So again, this is kind of a weird video. I, you guys have to tell me in the chat down below if you guys appreciate this, because I, like I said, it's like at the end of the day, the goal for me is to provide content, but the, the, in order for me to do that, I have to find value in it. I have to find things to that will actually help you, I progress you out, and while we can show different types of you know, rage blade built units or, or, you know, show different, uh, unorthodox builds, whatever like that, you know, all that stuff on the side, like, it doesn't mean anything if we're not, uh, you know, making improvements, trying to make ourselves better at the end of the day. So again, I got, I got myself, I got a quite a few things I want to adjust. So I figured I'd record this and just let you guys know that, Hey, you're not alone. If you're struggling in specific areas when you shouldn't be considering how strong your, your account is, you really need to consider, um, you know, optimizing your account and trying to capitalize on the strength of your runes depth, you know, the strength of your units and see what kind of uh, compositions you can create that will take advantage of uh, specific dungeons 
uh, you know, extra dungeons and whatnot here. So you're not using so many runes. And at the very least, if you cannot do that, figure out what you could do to prioritize maybe a specific area for this time so that you have those additional runes from other units that you're not really regularly using um, to go ahead and, you know, you know, focus on something else here, right? I mean, um, I, I remember, what was it, like uh, years ago, you know, I was a really big, really, really big advocate of, um, you know, farming hardcore, either GB12 or DB12, and not really focusing on MD12. But what I would do was I would focus on the first two that I said, and then I would use the resources that I collected to craft real runes as I need them, as I see fit, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it kind of helped me out, you know, uh, knocking out two birds with one stone because I optimized my account to focus on two dungeons and didn't need to uh, set aside uh, 18 other runes, right? Is that 18? Like five units, six runes, but that's way, way more, right? That's 30 runes, right? 30 runes on other units that I need, I didn't need to use because I optimized my account and I utilized the crafting material to get those real runes because that's literally all I was looking for in that MB12. So again, this is a, like I said, a couple of things that are kind of going on in my head. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you. And like I said, hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully this video is not too boring, but, uh, as always fam, um, these are just, you know, one of many things that I think about, um, when trying to be better. So if you guys are one of those people out there, you're like, you know what, childish, you're on the right path there. And I got it. I, I got even something that we can plus one to that. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below, you know, uh, talking about any kind of adjustment you've made on your account as far as optimizing or fine tuning it to help people out there as we are always trying to, you know, be better than previous day here. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I apologize that there was no gameplay here. This is just one of those random videos that I wanted to rant and just tell you about my problems and the solutions that I'm looking to incorporate and implement here in the upcoming future. So um, yeah, that's going to be it, fam. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish and Childish Place checking out. Take care and we'll see you all in the next one.